How long will this 1800 watt solar generator from 4 Patriots run this modern freezer refrigerator combo? We're about to find out, so stick with us. Okay, so the power is out right now. We're pretty fortunate we prepared earlier and we made the investment for a whole home generator. But if you don't have one of those, you might want to consider one of these solar electric generators. I'm going to show you one right now from 4 Patriots who sent one here for me to try out and I'm gonna put it to the test today. All right, let's do a real world, real life test on a refrigerator freezer combo. Hey guys, Capper here. Have you ever experienced a power outage that ruined everything in your refrigerator? Um, if you have, I got a solution for you in today's review video. And if you haven't, you might wanna consider it because for the cost of a solar generator to save all your uh, freezer food or your refrigerator food is a worthwhile investment. So today I'm going to review the 4 Patriots 1800 watt solar generator. I'm going to plug it into our refrigerator and I'm going to leave it run straight. Well, you'll see. Let's get into the review. Oh, and by the way, there's going to be some links below if you're interested in either a solar generator, you can get smaller ones, or a survival food. Um, there'll be some links for a sale on these items from 4Patriots. So let's get into it. Thanks. Just finished charging it. You gotta turn the outlets on. Plug it in. Right now it's 12.24 p.m. on June 10th. All right, you can see we got power, got light, freezer, We'll leave it run until she dies out and we'll see what happens. So one big thing you do want to look at is the trip breaker on it. So when this thing kicks on, when the compressor comes on, it's going to draw like probably, you know, two, 300, 400 watts. Let's see if we can do that. Let me open it for just a minute. All right, maybe not, I'll listen for it. All right, it's now uh, 1.12 p.m. Still running, I need some juice. All right, it's three o'clock p.m. right now. And I need a refill. Keep you posted. All right, 4.15 p.m. And I need another soda pop refill. All okay, we're still rolling. It's 5 p.m. now. And I'm gonna head outside for a little while, but I still got cold drinks available. All right, here we are, 6.03 p.m. We're gonna check in. We're still at half bars, still running. I need another, probably a refill yet for a seven up. And we're still freezing, so we'll check back in and see how it goes. Let's check in on the uh, 1800 generator. We're still going. It is 6.51 p.m. in the evening. I'm gonna get a refill and we'll check back in and see how it continues to go. Dang it, I spoke too soon. So I always carry a waterproof. On the power lines and right of ways and easements, we live way, way back in the woods. And Not touching the line, I don't think. Well, we just got a rainstorm. Good for the plots. Look at that, that's a bonus. It didn't fall across the road, so let's hope there's nobody blocking the road, but we had some bad thunderstorms. All right, 7.45 p.m. in the evening. Looks like we're running low, but looks like we're still powered up. Fridge, freezer, still good to go. All right, so we're getting ready to finish out how many hours the refrigerator will run straight. But keep in mind that a refrigerator and a freezer, especially modern ones, have very, very good insulation. So you realistically only need to run them 
roughly five to ten minutes per each hour. So if you're not going in and out of it all day long, you can run it for five minutes in the generator, uh, let the compressor kick in and cool things down, and then unplug it for about an hour or so and keep repeating that so you're only really going to use it this generator maybe five ish minutes to ten minutes tops per hour to keep all your uh, food frozen in the freezer and cold in the refrigerator so when we get to our whatever it's going to be seven eight nine hours if you extrapolate that into real life that can extend to many days of running your freezer and refrigerator on a generator like this that's also not including if you put a solar panel out you know out on your porch or whatever to keep recharging the generator so just food for thought but on this test we're going to show how many hours it goes straight without unplugging it one single time all right let's check in it's eight o'clock p.m now on the 10th starting to run low on juice uh, everything's still operational so we'll see when she peters out and see how it's going to go. All right, here we are, 9 o'clock p.m. Still running. Fridge and freezer still running. And we are going to delve in to extrapolating this into the real world on how long it can run your refrigerator or your freezer if you do it smartly. So... We'll continue to watch this. Anyways, we're at 9 p.m., still running strong. Okay, it's 9, 10 p.m., and I'm gonna end the experiment here because Sharon's sleeping, and I gotta be quiet, and I'm headed to bed soon. But we're still alive here. Fridge, freezer, it's time for my uh, midnight snack. Still running good. All right, thanks for joining us, and as a former uh, combat marine, former law enforcement officer, I can't help but kind of be a prepper at heart, so I'm always thinking of these things, um, but especially with everything going on in the cities right now, do yourself a favor, look ahead a little bit, make the investment now for some uh, food, some solar generators, whatever you can afford to get. For Patriots has a ton of different options. The food, you just buy whatever you could swing, park it in your cellar, in a closet or something, and it's good for 25 years. If you got a food pack and a solar generator, you'd be light years ahead just in case things happen like this power outage. And believe me, a lot more is going to happen uh, because look at California right now. They're having rolling blackouts. And recently down here in Illinois, we got a letter from our power company that we might have blackouts because they sold some of our energy to the grid, if you will, because the grid is interconnected all across the country. Consider that. There's a lot of sales going on right now at 4Patriots. There's some links in the description. And if you haven't, consider subscribing to our channel for our country living adventures, land management, real estate flipping, food plotting, and all kinds of fun. Appreciate you joining us. I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.